Just a disclaimer, everything I say in this video is based on scientific factual information. All my opinions are correct, and if you disagree, go suck my dick. Now let's get started. Y'all are here because you want to know what the best pet to own is. Whether you're considering what pet to get, or if you're thinking of getting one in the future, then you've come to the right place. Because Papa Blue is here to lay down the facts that are truthier than the truth. But before I tell you that, there's some obvious things you need to consider before getting a pet, such as the responsibilities that come with it. You can't just simply get a pet all willy-nilly like this was some all-you-can-eat buffet. You gotta plan out your finances. You gotta have the time and energy to take care of it. You gotta make sure it eats well. You gotta clean up after it. And you gotta be emotionally prepared for when it kicks the bucket. If you ask me, that sounds like way too much work just for emotional support. Especially when the pet isn't even gonna live that long anyways. But what if I told you there was a pet that doesn't require any of that? Would you believe me if I told you there was a pet so low maintenance that you can have the benefits of owning a pet while still being a lazy piece of shit? That's cause there is. And it puts every other pet to shame. Ahem. Drum roll please. Rocks are objectively the most superior pets in all pet kind, and anyone who disagrees are crayon eaters. First off, you don't have to feed them. Everybody knows that eating ain't cheap, whether you're doing it for yourself or for someone else. That's something you gotta keep up with till the day you die. It doesn't take a brain to know how expensive that shit is, which is why you see most people stick into a budget. But with rocks, you don't have to worry about that. Unlike every other pet in existence, rocks don't rely on sustenance. And because they never have to eat, they never have to shit either. That alone already makes Brock's the best pet to own. Not having to feed or clean up after it is a fucking game changer. But that's not all. They're also the most obedient. When I take it out for a walk, I don't have to put a leash on it. Or leave it in a cage in case it runs off and jumps someone. You know why? Because Brock's are the most well-behaved pet on the planet. This shit ain't gonna wander off like some old fart with dementia. I can rest assured knowing that my rock will stay put if I left it unsupervised. You know how some animals turn aggressive at random? Sometimes you've got pets that will just go apeshit out of nowhere and attack people, including their owners. That's cause deep down, they're still wild animals. One day they're your best friend, the next day they might be your worst nightmare. That's why I don't mess with these wild beasts. They're filled with nothing but bloodlust and violent urges, but with rocks. They chill as fuck. They don't care about that monkey bullshit like asserting dominance or survival of the fittest. They're out here living their best life. And the best part is that these mofos can live up to 4 billion years as long as they don't succumb to shit like corrosion, weather, or human activity. And those are just the ones on Earth. Some can even live up to 7 billion years, which is fucking crazy. Why'd I bring this up? No matter what pet you get, most likely it's going to kick the bucket before you, since humans have a significantly longer lifespan. And when that day comes, they're probably going to feel like shit. And that's why I highly recommend getting a pet rock. You'll never have to go through the emotional trauma of losing your best friend, who you've spent years developing a special connection with. They will stand by your side to the very end. If that's not true friendship, then I don't know what is. And that's why rocks are the best pet. Anyways, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe you should like and subscribe to the channel. Who knows, maybe you'll start looking like this guy, or maybe you'll grow some inches on your dick. I'd see ya.